First and foremost, desktop. You don't get any icons pinned by default. Custom directories inside desktop folder will show up here, but you can alter it from Zorin appearance by changing the visibility of icons. Home, trash, mounted volumes and network servers have the option for visibility too. Then we have layouts, which alter panel locations, replace them with docks and more. Four options are there. For unlocking more, you have to purchase Zorin Pro. Themes help you change the accent colors like the appearance tab under settings in Ubuntu, switch between light mode and dark mode, and alter default themes of individual applications. For interface, you can toggle animations off or turn on jelly mode, change left super key function or toggle activities overview hot corner. Taskbar settings launches a variety of parameters, modify panel size, switch IntelliHide or tweak panel transparency. Under position, shift panel up the screen, move it to the left, right or bottom. Individual element positions can also be modified from here. Finally, behaviors and actions. Last, under Zorni appearance, you have fonts. This app is like an alternative for GNOME tweaks. GNOME settings launches when you try to change the wallpaper. Surprising enough that it is not GNOME 42 out of the box and does not have the option to switch between dark mode and light mode. But here, Zorin appearance compensates. About page shows all the information but misses out the GNOME version. Default theme looks very modern and beautiful. You can open terminal and execute NeoFetch to view the current theme name. NeoFetch had to be installed separately. Talking about theme, whether it is settings, files or the software center, there is an awesome level of consistency except for the application named Mosk setup. But at the same time, all these applications belong to GNOME 3. The fact that GNOME 43 is here and Zorin does not ship 42 out of the box makes me think a lot. Maybe they have not figured a way out with Libadwide and GDK4 to implement their awesome theme perfectly out of the box. Zorin Connect is an alternative to KDE Connect on Zorin OS. You can sync notifications, share files, remote input, and control. Clipboard Sync shares the clipboard of your PC or phone, which I found very useful. It provides a level of encryption, which is an added advantage. Now let us check some of the other applications that are provided inside Zorin OS. So here I have some of the applications open. Uh, you have clock here, from here you can choose uh, the world clock, you can add some world clocks from here itself, choose a city and add it. You have alarms, stopwatch, timer and more but unfortunately clocks is again GNOME uh, from the version 3.38. Um, but if you change the theme, it changes uniformly throughout the system. So I change it to blue, you will see in the file explorer everything changes to blue. You go select a green, even the icons here will change to the green icons of Zorin. Now you can choose the dark mode also, which again changes everything consistently throughout the system. Uh, that is great. Uh, again, you have maps, which is also uh, an older version of GNOME. Anyway, but however, they are well maintained and controlled with Zorin appearance. So I guess it makes sense for them to use that. Mm. but even though they are old older versions i guess it is easier to manage the themes in the older versions of gnome not using the gdk4 or libert vita so the theming is much more consistent if you change to orange everything here will change to orange also there is a slight accent of orange color in the background if i'm not wrong yeah definitely there is a very subtle change that happens uh which is noticeable. So these are some of the applications under accessories. Next you have no, uh, you have games. Yeah, after that inside graphics you get GIMP, you have image viewer, library office draw, photos and more. Uh, well, the office suit you get library office, the entire application. Let us see what version of library office they are providing. So if I go to about library office, here you have the 7.4.2. So here you have the 7.4 version which is the latest version of LibreOffice currently available. Now, LibreOffice also changes its theme according to Zorin Appearance. If you go to Zorin Appearance, go to Theme and change it to the light mode, you will see that every color over here changes. But however, there is some problem after changing to, from the dark mode itself while the application is running. But I guess after you restart the application, the problem will be solved. Yeah, even the accent colors, as you can see, it's using the one that is selected over here. If you change it, 
it will change here also and in the background you will find a slight slight accent color getting reflected in the background itself now let us talk about the internet you have firefox web browser provided inside the system itself but however if you open firefox you will find that the home page is something different it's actually using a customized search engine from zorin actually it's not a search engine it's more like a different interface which mimics the search engine so if you place the mouse over here you will see that there is an option for searching in the wikipedia obviously google is in the first then you have wikipedia um, youtube or even in twitter so you can search for anything and it will get reflected there so if you search for linux you can search the google or you can even search the wikipedia and even inside youtube but uh, i th i'm thinking about one thing that if your search is something big it will go out of the screen that is there uh, they could have done this a little bit smaller but well it it is fine it looks very clean then you have applications on under sound and video there is brasero you can you, you, you can go for cheese which takes photos and videos with your webcam you can go for rhythm box which basically plays your music collection videos for playing the videos and sound recorder system tools provides you with uh, boot repair uh, which was also provided by mx linux but mx linux provides a more structured manner here whereas in the boot repair it will just automatically search for the problems and provide you with some kind of solution that is available according to the problems there but in mx boot repair you you will get um, four options for troubleshooting so you can more so it is more directed it also provides you with the application support for windows but however this application is not installed if you click there it will open the uh, this place for installing wine as well as play on linux which will allow you to run windows application inside zorin os itself as if they are native apps you also have the option to edit the main menu that is here there is an app for showing you the power statistics tour gives you a tour for zorin os 16.2 with with some kind of background music you can go for starting the tour it shows you uh, how things are operated inside zorin os you can open the menu to launch apps and then you have other options you can choose the desktop look with zorin os appearance and it also provides you the option for opening zorin os appearance from here itself and this is so very delightful the interface i feel like to start distro hopping again because of this operating system the interface is very delightful you can also speed up your virtual machine by installing the vm tools for vmware zorin os also detects that you are using a virtual machine to improve the performance you can also install the extensions to your virtualization software and restart the system itself so that is great it detects if you are running it inside a virtual machine or in inside bare metal and then you, are, you can connect your online accounts you can sync your accounts to easily access your online calendar documents photos and more and you can link your phone and computer with zorin os connect you can integrate your devices to sync notifications reply to messages on the desktop share files use your phone as a remote control which i talked about zorin os connect which is great you can use software to find installed applications you can launch software from there you can do all the work now LibreOffice is installed which works best with dot odt ods and odp files whereas only office works best with dot docx xlsx and pptx files which are basically the powerpoint uh, word and the excel files so you can also install it from here so that's all you can start enjoying zorin os from here itself or you can also check some help pages that they provide well if you would like to check performance you can open the terminal and just enter htop well it was installed separately you can see that the cpu usage it remains on the lower end the memory it is taking 2.4 gigs of ram out of the 7.373 gigs available so it's on the lower end for the cpu but for the ram usage it will be a lot lesser after installing the system since it is running directly as a live system it is using a more amount of ram so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one